Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. If a plus b equals 1 and a raised to the fifth power plus ab plus b raised to the fifth power equals a squared times b squared, then what is the value of a raised to 2022 plus ab plus b raised to 2022? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Now, the given is just a plus b equals 1 and a raised to the fifth power plus ab plus b raised to the fifth power equals a squared times b squared. Now, first thing we need to do is, of course, get the first equation, a plus b equals 1. And using this first equation, we need to manipulate this. And of course, we need to use the second equation in order to get the value of this expression right here. Now, what are we going to do to this equation? First thing to do is to square on both sides. So we have a plus b quantity squared equals 1 squared. Now, 1 squared is just 1. And a plus b raised to 2 is just a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And again, 1 squared is just 1. Now, let's get the value of a squared plus b squared. So, let's subtract 2ab on both sides. This will give us a squared plus b squared equals 1 minus 2ab. Now, let's set aside this result for a while. And then... Notice that on the second equation, we have a raised to the fifth power plus b raised to the fifth power. So, we need to have a raised to the fifth power plus b raised to the fifth power. So, what we're going to do is to find first a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3. So, let's multiply both sides by a plus b. Now, take note that a plus b is just 1. So, on the right-hand side, 1 times 1 minus 2ab is just 1 minus 2ab. And then, on the left side, let's multiply a plus b on a squared plus b squared. There's a purpose. The purpose is to get the value of a cubed plus b cubed. Now, let's do that. Let's use chunk multiplication. Now, a squared times a plus b plus b squared times a plus b. Now, let's distribute this a squared. And let's distribute this b squared. And now, on the middle term, we have a squared b plus a times b squared. It has a common factor of ab. So let's factor out ab. Now take note that a plus b must be equal to 1. So ab times a plus b is just ab. Now let's subtract ab on both sides. Thus, this will give us a cube plus b cube equals 1 minus 3 times ab. Now, if we multiply these two equations, we get a squared plus b squared times a cubed plus b cubed equals 1 minus 2ab times 1 minus 3ab. Why we do that? To have a raised to the fifth power plus b raised to the fifth power. Now, let's multiply first the left-hand side. Again, let's use chunk multiplication. And then, let's distribute this a cubed. And now, let's distribute this b cubed. Now, on the middle term, it has a common factor of a squared times b squared. So, let's factor out a squared times b squared. This will give us a squared times b squared times a plus b. Again, a plus b must be equal to 1. So, we have a squared times b squared. And then, let's multiply the right-hand side. 1 minus 2ab multiplied by 1 minus 3ab will give us... 1 minus 5ab plus 6 times a squared times b squared. Now, we have a squared and b squared on the left-hand side. So, let's subtract a squared minus b squared on both sides. This will give us 5a squared b squared. And here comes the second equation comes into play. Because in the second equation, a raised to the fifth power plus b raised to the fifth power is equivalent to negative ab plus a squared b squared. Therefore, we can replace this a raised to the fifth power plus b raised to the fifth power with negative ab plus a squared times b squared. Now, let's simplify this equation. 
let's add first AB on both sides. And then, let's subtract A squared B squared on both sides. This will give us 0 equals 1 minus 4AB plus 4 times A squared B squared. Now, notice that this 4 is 2 squared. Therefore, this expression can be written as 2 times AB raised to 2. And now, surprisingly, 1 minus 4AB plus 2AB quantity squared is a perfect trinomial. And it can be factored as 1 minus 2AB raised to 2. Now, since it is equal to 0, we can say that 1 minus 2AB must be equal to 0. Now, let's add 2AB on both sides. And then, divide both sides by 2. This will give us the value of A times B as 1 half. Now, let's set aside this result. Now, take note that to find the value of A squared plus B squared, we need the value of A times B. Now, we know the value of A times B. This is just 1 half. So, we can get the value of A squared plus B squared. So, let's replace this AB with 1 half. Now, 1 minus 2 times 1 half. 2 times 1 half is just 1. So, 1 minus 1 is just 0. Good thing to know that A squared plus B squared equals 0. Now, what we're going to do is to continue the process and let's see if we get A raised to 2022 plus B raised to 2022. Now, let's get a squared plus b squared equals to 0. And then, let's square on both sides. Now, on the left-hand side, we have a raised to the fourth power plus 2a squared b squared plus b raised to the fourth power equals 0. Now, let's get the value of a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power. This is just negative 2 times a squared b squared. And a squared b squared can be written as ab raised to 2. Now, we know the value of AB, this is just 1 half. So, we have negative 2 times 1 half squared. 1 half squared is just 1 fourth. So, negative 2 times 1 fourth is just negative 1 half. So, A raised to the fourth power plus B raised to the fourth power equals 1 half. Now, we have the value of A raised to the fourth power plus B raised to the fourth power. And let's set aside this result. And take note that we want A raised to 2022 and B raised to 2022. My gosh. So what we're going to do to get those value is to experiment and let's see if we can find some pattern. So what we're going to do is to multiply these two result. So let's multiply A squared plus B squared and A raised to the fourth power plus B raised to the fourth power. Now, on the right-hand side, this is very easy because 0 times negative 1 half is just 0. And on the left-hand side, again, let's use chunk multiplication. Let's distribute this A raised to the fourth power. And let's distribute this B raised to the fourth power. Now, on the middle term, notice that we have a common factor of A squared, B squared. So, let's factor out A squared and B squared. This will give us a squared b squared times a squared plus b squared. Now, here comes the good thing. Because a squared plus b squared is just 0. Therefore, this term cancel out and this will give us a raised to the 6th power plus b raised to the 6th power must be equal to 0. Now, what if we multiply a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power and a raised to 6 plus b raised to 6? On the right-hand side, this is very easy. This is just 0. And on the left-hand side, again, let's use chunk multiplication. Now, let's distribute this a raised to 6. And let's distribute this b raised to 6. Again, notice on this middle term, we have a common factor of A raised to the fourth power and B raised to the fourth power. And if we factor those, we get a factor of A squared plus B squared. Again, this is just 0. Therefore, this middle term cancel out. This will give us the value of A raised to the tenth power plus B raised to the tenth power must be 0. Now, let's have some pattern. So, a squared plus b squared must be 0. a raised to 6 plus b raised to 6 equals to 0. Also, a raised to 10 plus b raised to 10 must be also equal to 0. Now, if we continue this process, 
if we multiply a raised to 10 plus b raised to 10 to a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power, this will give us a raised to the fourteenth power plus b raised to the fourteenth power must be also 0. Now, if we continue this process, we will get that the value of a raised to 2022 plus b raised to 2022 must be also 0. Therefore, we have now the value of a raised to 2022 plus b raised to 2022. And we also have the value of this ab as 1 half. We are now ready to find the value of this expression. Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. And we know a raised to 2022 plus b raised to 2022 is just 0. And this ab is just 1 half. So, our expression is just 0 plus 1 half. And 0 plus 1 half is just 1 half. Therefore, the value of a raised to 2022 plus ab plus b raised to 2022 must be 1 half. And as always, we are done.